Excited to start your educational journey with study in India but confused on your way forward? Don't worry. This guide for choice filling will sort out all your queries. Choice filling is the most important part of your application process as you have to choose courses and colleges that will shape your future. Before applying, you can check the list of institutes and courses, number of seats, eligibility criteria from the courses tab on the study in India website. Let's get started now. First, select the discipline you want to apply for. For example, if you are aspiring to be a lawyer, then select the law discipline and the program level you want to apply for. If you are confused about the field you want to pursue, you can even choose multiple disciplines. We have 2600 plus courses to choose from. Now, if you are applying for an undergraduate or UG course, you must have qualifying marks of class 10th or secondary education and 12th or higher education. If you are applying for a postgraduate or PG course, then you have to have qualifying marks in classes 10th, 12th and graduation. In the case of a PhD, you must have a master's degree in a similar course or field or stream in which you want to pursue a PhD. Some colleges also specify that candidates need to have completed an MPhil to pursue the PhD course offered by them. Please note, PG and PG Diploma are two different courses. Once you make your preference, you can click on Next to proceed to the next section that is Choice Filling. Choice Filling is the most important part of this application. This is where you will make the choice for institutes, courses and specialization basis your preference. For example, if engineering is your passion and you have a particular institute in your mind, you can easily select and add it to your list. You can also do it manually by entering engineering under discipline, selecting undergraduate at the program level and then choosing from the list of colleges offering the program that appears. Please remember, you can also filter the list by choosing the discipline, program level, name of the course and specialization. For example, if you select engineering as discipline, undergraduate as the program level, bachelor of technology under name of the course and computer science under specialization, then you will only see the colleges that offer the same. Now click on apply. A screen will pop up. You can enter the percentage that you filled previously after converting it as per the Indian education system. For a few courses, you have to enter the marks of individual subjects. Once you enter your marks, you can click on Save. If you see the message saying you are not eligible for this course, don't get disheartened. You have the option to apply for other institutes that are offering courses as per your marks obtained in the required field. If you have qualifying marks, then a message will pop up, citing that choice has been saved successfully. You are advised to save your choices before you get logged out automatically. Students, please remember, you have to apply for a minimum of three choices. At the same time, you can apply to as many courses or institutes as you want. Also, please keep in mind that if you change your date of birth at any stage, all filled choices in the choice filling section will be removed. Once you are done with choice filling, you can click on Save and move to the next section that is the choice priority. It gives you an option to prioritize the list of institutes 
you have selected in the previous section and the list can be edited too. You will be allotted an institute during counselling as per your priority list. Institute once allotted cannot be changed. Please note, study in India counselling is an automated process. There is no human intervention involved. Now that you know the importance of choice priority, let's begin with its functioning. You can simply swap the priorities between two institutes by clicking on the Move Up and Move Down button under the Swap or Move column. If you have a long list of institutes, then you can use the Set Choices Number option to swap between two particular choices. For example, if you want to move Institute Number 7 to Institute Number 1, you can select Institute Number 7 in the column named From and College Number 1 in the column named To and then click Swap or Move. You can see the colleges swapped in your window. It's very simple, isn't it? If you have a long list of colleges and you have to look for a specific preference number, then you can even search the institute manually using the Search tab. After completing the process of choice priority, please let us know from where did you hear about us. Give your answer by choosing one of the options. Once done, please move to the declaration part. Candidates are advised to go through their entire application once and make sure that all the information filled in is correct to the best of their knowledge. Failing to do so will lead to disqualification from the admission process. If you want to make changes to the choices filled at a later stage, you can even edit your application. But make sure you resubmit it well before the last date. Now click on I agree and then the submit button. Congratulations, your application has been successfully submitted. You will get a notification about the same on your registered email ID and mobile number. Wishing you the best for every step of your educational journey and good luck for a great beginning. We can't wait to see you in India.